Welcome back. We're going to play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars and attempt to remember. Um, yes, I'm intending to play a few games here. Good luck. And other games are possible, I suppose. This will perhaps be a good warm up for the day. Um, yeah, lately I've been pared down quite a bit because I've been losing a lot. Um, but with time, hopefully we'll learn. Uh, yeah, we could play some games. Is it okay if I play a couple here first? Um, this is interesting already. Cool. So yeah, I'll get through a few games that we could play some also. Yeah, I missed out on the teaching ladder last weekend, although we don't have to play anything like that slow if you don't want to. Um... So, yeah, it's good to play and to practice, because each time you play, you learn something. Hopefully. If you're doing it right. Um, this time... Hmm. 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 I'm a bit confused about this. Oh, okay. I can I can block this diagonal, and then this bishop is displaced. All right, this is fine. Um, because the bishop should be a target in the future. Um. I want to find a different way to activate my bishop. But also I want to aim at this head right there. Um, well, first I need to stop this bishop from running. All right, and second... I want to push on where their king is going to castle. So... This looks interesting. Um, okay, we're going to learn a new castle today. somehow. This is going to be super awkward. So I'm mixing up all my ideas all at once here. Hopefully that's not terrible, but the notion of putting pressure on the side of the board seems reasonable. Um, some details about how I'm doing this might not be right. So I protect my center, and then this silver... Oh, what? What is this? That's a free pawn. None There's no way to recover this pawn. Okay. It's been quite an adventure to this point, but um, hopefully things will de-escalate in just a second here. they escalate any further, I'm not sure how I can react to it. Um, I 
I could take this and then redrop the pawn, and they still don't have a breakthrough. So this is awkward, but fine. Um, what next is the real question here? I think this is next, believe it or not. Um, they're going to try to push on this 5-5 five, five square again and again. So I'm going to try to push on the bishop's head. Oh yes, uh, that's right. Yeah, we are already friends on this website. So yeah, we could play some games here too. That's a good point. Um, yeah, lately, um, one of our best streamers is also uh, ascending the ranks Go on the me. site. It's quite entertaining to watch his games, too. So while he continues climbing the ranks, uh, I'm kind of racing him to Wandan, but he's going to beat me there by a very, very long run. But this way, I get to play daily games and do my best, and we'll see how it ends up. Um, Alright, so I'm after your bishop here. I don't even know if I drop for that. I might need the pawn on some different file. Plus the pawn would block my silver. Alright, so we're just gonna... Oh god, really? Did I just let that happen? I just let that happen. Alright, well, that'll be something. We've both castled here, but, um, yeah, there are some differences in our castles, and I'm never happy with mine. Um, this will be interesting. Alright, we're going to attack the silver, see if they take the pawn. We have two pawns in hand. Yeah, taking the pawn would be a bit anxious. Here. Oh, if I go up, this bishop can attack me, so... Uh, this is going to be awkward. I have to dodge this way, otherwise the bishop can attack and I don't have a good way to block it. Now, if the token gives chase, I can move the rook back over this way and then up here, where the bishop doesn't hit it immediately. But if they do this... Um, I saw this much, and this convinced me that this variation, while not great, might be playable. Ah, uh, tell March. He's doing a video series on YouTube. Um, although he does also live stream games on Twitch, but, um, yeah, he's got his own YouTube channel. Uh, so, let's see. What the hell do I do now? Mm. This is not good. Something. I've blocked my bishop. Um, okay, I'm going to try to keep their rook out of this 
place. And then my bishop is going to swing around somehow. Or maybe it's going to swing around this way. I don't know. Here, let's load up another proverb just out of interest. Let's see. Squeeze first, check later. Fair enough. This is going to be a very long squeeze, but I need to activate my pieces first. My rook is sad. My bishop is very sad. It's, uh, activating my pieces is going to be difficult. Um... Okay, we'll go directly forward here. Somehow I lost audio for this website. Hopefully it still captures for the live stream. It's just my speakers cut out, seemingly. Um, given the time expenditure, it's looking like if I win this, it's going to be based on a time win. Um, all right, so I continue defending this point. It's an important point. Um, activate my bishop. If I had a knight, the knight would fit there very nicely. But alas, I have no knight. Oh, well, I could bring my knight up. Move every piece that's defending my king to the opponent's side of the board. Yeah, that's smart. It might work, but... Oh boy. It's not my first choice of a plan if I had more than one option. Probably should have pushed this pawn a long time ago. And then dropped another there and silver takes. At least I split the castle this way. Um, they preempt my threat. What now? I guess we'll give my bishop another square to go to. While also threatening to just push directly on the silver's head. More realistically, the bishop's going to get into this corner. Um, although it might promote right there. They split their castle to stop me from attacking more directly. But maybe I should just promote here even if this silver moves up. This pawn push would have been smarter. This pawn push would have been way smarter. Well, no. They'd still play the silver here either way. Oh. That's an interesting move. Um, Nifun. I'm going to push on this right here. Let's see how badly we can break up their position. So this separates their castle, which gives me one tempo for an attack, somehow. I still don't, don't know how I want to attack here. Um, I don't like this move, but I don't hate it. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm expecting the rook to move over, and then the bishop drops back, and then might even move here next. But also I might just move the bishop or some... oh. Okay. Um... Couldn't decide. No, I should have just promoted. No, 
It's not worth it. Ipun. Okay, we attack this point repeatedly. Oh, they could pawn drop on the silver's head, can't they? And I could move my pawn to hit the rook. Um, well, this is confusing, but I have to keep moving. I don't have time to stop and think. Um, no, that doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Sanjubio. We're going to try this. It might not work. But it might work, so let's try it. I can drop another knight. I misread this. I'm not happy. Well, I could drop another pawn, but this silver drop is too heavy. This pawn drop was correct. So... Well, pawn drop might be also wrong. Uh, shit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I want to be able to drop next to the king. Thanks for the game. Yep. One game down, two to go. Good luck.
Maybe this is too aggressive? I'm not sure. All right, just take the side pawn as the proverb. That's a fun proverb. Oh, wow. Um... I guess we'll get my king away from this and next to the bishop. This timing tends to provoke a bishop exchange, but it didn't happen here. So now bishop drops in general are covered. That's weird. Um, all right, stop this bishop from moving here just in case something goes wrong. That's a fun castle shape. Um, guess we'll build this one. Hmm. All right, that's a castle. Uh, I built one today. Good for me. Um, is there something dangerous about this? I get the sense that there might be, but I don't see what it is. Okay, we've both been waiting on this exchange. Let's just do it. So I have a pawn, and... The silver is hanging, and I can push this and push that, and drop a pawn here, take this with my rook. I think I'm in a better position unless they drop a bishop to oppose mine. But even then I might be still pretty good, because I can still use my rook to invade. So I'm confused. Oh, plus if they oppose, I could just take this and go back. Um... There might be a tactic on my king's head. That's the one weakness to consider here. They might push this pawn, and that might get complicated. Oh. Hey. All right. That's interesting. Um. That's a shape. Hmm. My king is not feeling safe. I'm going to play this even though it breaks up my castle. Um, so now we've both got freestyle castles going. Um... Yeah, that's... well, I'm not sure that's necessarily a problem. It's a potential problem of this, but my bishop can go to 5-5. Five five. So... Oh, my bishop right now can go to 5-5, five five, but if I do this, suddenly this whole position gets upside down in a hurry. Um, It's fine, though, because my rook is going to be extremely active. Maybe it's not fine. Maybe I'm deluding myself a bit here. 
Okay, that's an interesting move order. What's the concept? So, they're wanting to offer this exchange. Now, I could push this pawn and make even more holes, which seems a bit too spicy. Um, let's just take this. And then take here so that the rook gets active. And not drop the bishop until we come up with a very good bishop drop. I tend to drop it much too early. Um, oh. Right, so they could drop another pawn after I take this one. That's how this game works. I knew that. Um... That's not great then. So, the heck do I do now? Well, what can defend? Oh, the rook's already defending this. Um, hmm. So the game slows down again unless I come up with an attacking idea. I ain't got nothing. All right, we're just going to build a castle and see what they're thinking about. What can I do with the tempo? I guess I could, like, activate the rook this way and make it draw fire from the bishop. Inevitably, I intend to drop a pawn here and a pawn there, and see rook takes. Okay. Ah, uh, well that's fine, right? Um... Gofun. They intend to fork. Alright, so we take here again. If I push and if I drop, hmm, this doesn't lead very far. Drop where your opponent wants to drop is one saying, so we'll try that here. I think they're going to just drop a pawn right in front of it, though. So this is perhaps a waste of time dropping it this way. Perhaps it even accelerates their attack, but I don't know if their king coming closer makes it harder. Well, no, if the king moves away from the lance... I could chase the lance uh, with my bishop, particularly if this knight moves and I have tactics. All right, so that ain't happening. Uh, now the rook's floating. All right, screw it, let's try this. 
one way or another this tactic has to work. Uh, either I promote my bishop or I take this gold. Either one of those has to be good. Maybe both. Um, all right, we'll take back this way. So I'm obviously threatening a pawn drop right there. They're going to drop their only pawn to stop me from doing that, unless they have some other design in mind. But very likely they're going to drop a pawn to stop me from doing this. They might also try something aggressive, just because they're piling up more and more pieces next to both of our kings. So, um, okay, that is aggressive. Hmm. I don't understand that. Reading can be tricky sometimes. I don't know if this is the wrong square, if I should have dropped it one closer. Or sorry, drop it one further back, rather, is what I was thinking about. One closer is actually kind of interesting, too. Um, this might be exactly the wrong square for the pawn drop. Okay, let's take that. Uh, that is a fork. Noted. Um, oh, that's check. Hey, look at that. Alright, that's a triple fork. Um, all right, let's surround their rook. Taking this bishop's not going to do me any good. My position would be much too loose after I take that and their rook escapes again and is defending. I need some better attack here. So there's a better attack. Nifun. Hmm. They want my king to move away. If my king takes here directly or indirectly, bad stuff happens. Um, OK. 
Okay, let's attack this castle. I'm fine until they get a gold. Once they get a gold, I am so screwed. But they don't have a gold. Uh. Um, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> if they move this bishop, I'm unhappy, but what can I do? I guess we'll take the rook and hope for a miracle. That's bizarre. Let's use the rook. Um, if I could get this bishop removed, that would be a nice step forward. Um, oh, incidentally, yeah, I've got stuff I can do here. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Well, this is some sort of a game. Um, a very tactical one, I suppose. I've done similar things before. I think both Ascenta and Escota. And I think normally my experiments have failed. Um, so, an extremely quick attack like this, I've never seen work, but that's not to say there's no way to make it successful. Uh, particularly if I can't count, this could be challenging. Um, yes, so they have two silvers in hand and a dragon right in front of my king. How did I not see that coming? Like, that's not good. Um, so I've got a bishop, but they've got a lot of... Oh, that's checkmate. Alright, game number three is done. There it goes. Um, 
all right i think three is enough for the video um so we see that i'm still hanging out there around the cusp of 1q to 2q this is what happens when i switch up my openings um i think over time we'll learn to play this better I'm just gonna take a fair deal of trial and error eventually we'll get there hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching